危机解密刚刚披露的将近两万封希拉里所在的民主党内的邮件呢，可以被说。Wang Guan is the chief political correspondent for CCTV America. CCTV is China's biggest state-run TV network, and Wang is here in Philadelphia to cover the U.S. elections. We produce packages and we send them back to Beijing, and those stories will be aired across Beijing's CCTV's Mandarin channels, Channel One, Channel Four, and Channel Thirteen. Do you have any idea how big your viewership is? It reaches millions, right? It's Hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions. You have an audience of hundreds of millions. At least, yeah, I think. Are there any types of stories that you would not be able to report on because you're reporting for Chinese state media? Well, to be honest, I'm pretty happy about what we cover: geopolitical issues,、uh, U.S. social issues, and also China-U.S. relations. If you ask me, are there editorial preferences? Of course, there are editorial preferences. You say that, but CCTV is notoriously a government mouthpiece. Xi Jinping himself said that state media is to serve the purposes of the party. And I so, didn't say that.、Uh, some lower-ranking officials said that. But in February this year, Xi Jinping told media officials that all news media run by the party must work to speak for the party's will and its propositions. On covering the U.S. elections, state media has largely chosen not to cover the democratic debate itself, but to focus on the failures of the American democratic process. How do you feel about the revelation of nearly 20,000 emails?、Uh, As elsewhere in the world, Donald Trump is a source of constant fascination to China. Obviously, some Chinese are pretty offended by his, you know, racist remarks, his white supremacist attitude, and by his、uh, simplistic views on trade. Despite the Republican nominee's constant China bashing, many Chinese are even less keen on the prospect of a Hillary presidency. Many people don't simply they don't like、uh, Hillary Clinton. Many people back in China perceive Hillary to to want to pursue a very tough stance on China, especially when it comes to South China Sea,、uh, when it comes to regional issues that involves China. This week, reports broke that China's Cyberspace Administration had imposed a ban on original reporting by several major online news portals. This signifies the government's latest efforts to tighten its grip over information. As far as I'm observed, Sina.com, Tassin.com,、uh, 163.com, Total Xinwen,、uh, those leading Chinese internet portals are still producing international news, and I don't see any obstruction. There's a lot of coverage, at least in the West, about this sort of media crackdown in China at the moment. Do you think that that's fair? That since Xi Jinping has come into power, that there has been increased control over the media? And it's so interesting that when people use the word crackdown, that conjures up the image of, you know, authoritarian figure. You well, know, how would you describe it?、Uh, cracking down on dissidents. I would say when you manage state media, as many countries do with their own state media, because、uh, you prioritize issues. Uh, you want to provide alternative viewpoints to the Western viewpoint.、Uh, that is not cracking down. That is providing alternative viewpoints. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank you.、I、appreciate it. What are you doing now? I'm sorry. I'm getting away、this. from you. <laughs> Just kidding.